at an abandoned school in Dutchtown, raising more questions tonight about crime and crumbling buildings in St. Louis City. And this comes after four teens were shot at, one getting hit at the vacant Cleveland High School on Louisiana in South St. Louis. Justin Andrews heard neighbors' concerns and how the city is responding. Hub for crime. It's a hub for vandalism, um, and it makes all of us feel unsafe. This decade's worth of decay is something Dallas Adams tries to steer clear of. We try to avoid this route uh, because you never know what could be lurking behind the vacant building. Adams lives in Dutchtown near Cleveland High School. A simple drive past it can paint a poor picture for some. Saturday morning, police say someone shot at two 19 year olds and two 18 year olds after exploring this crumbling building. A bullet hit one person in the back. Police say the teenagers were inside the school and ran into the suspects. We're told after the suspects took the teens on a tour, they became scared. As the group walked out, bullets blew right by them, striking one. Windows busted out here at Cleveland High School in Dutchtown. This is just one of hundreds of abandoned buildings sitting crumbling across the city. Although this fence has been put up around the school, it's already been compromised. So clearly people have gone inside. And that's the case for several buildings across St. Louis City based on First Alert 4's years long reporting, illustrating problems plaguing abandoned buildings from fires to squatting and other issues. We're doing a lot uh, on buildings right now. Connor Kerrigan is the city's communications director. He says millions of dollars in ARPA funds will be allocated to stabilize privately owned vacant buildings. But Kerrigan says it takes time to sort through owners and legalities. And you really need to look at this as an infrastructure project because it's not just one building that's having an issue. It's buildings, you know, throughout the city, as you mentioned. That's infrastructure. Infrastructure projects take time. Chris Goodson, once the owner of Field Foods, still has development rights to renovate the defunct Cleveland High School. But Adam says this project hit some roadblocks. She and others hope to soon see some new life into a dying piece of history. It's historic, it is crumbling, but it is one of the relics of our neighborhood. In Dutchtown, Justin Andrews, First Alert 4.